I literally have never gone for a dunk for that long and deep on a ride before. <laughs> I'm a sucker for punishment. You know in that type two or three kind of way? I think there's something so rewarding about going to a new place and pushing yourself to see how far you can really go. Well, me at least. I'm Tom Bradshaw and thanks to Outdoorsy, they've supported us as part of this video series to have a crack at a challenge here in Cumberland on Vancouver Island. So welcome. There are over 170 trails in the forest behind us and a big thanks to those trails goes to the United Riders of Cumberland or UROC. Now Jeremy, one of the founding members, has helped me plot the course for tomorrow, which is over 120 k's and a little over 3,000 meters of climbing. This type of challenge requires an appropriate base camp, and we've towed this little beauty across the seas from the mainland. Outdoorsy is an online platform where you can rent RVs, or camper vans as I'd call them, trailers, vans, or pretty much any movable accommodation. And if you've got an RV sitting in your driveway, you can make a little bit of extra cash by listing it on there too. Now I always like to have a few rules as part of these challenges. So tomorrow we'll ride from dawn until dusk, which is 5.15 a.m. till 9.30 p.m. at this time of year. We'll try as best we can to. The course will also come back to the base camp four times throughout the day. So we'll be able to carry a backpack with food and snacks, but be able to top up here as we go. I'll also be joined by a few locals in the morning, including former Olympian Max Plaxton. So he'll certainly be keeping us honest. So let's jump into the base camp and take you through a tour of what snacks we're going to be getting through tomorrow. Welcome on board, I'll just take you through a quick tour of what's on offer snack wise tomorrow. Tuna, rice, avocado wraps, boiled potatoes, even better that I can cook them in here, salt and vinegar chips and then the 55 litre water tank. It's really going to come into its own tomorrow. Now I'm actually pretty nervous about tomorrow, it's going to be really hot, the forecast is 35 degrees celsius. So I'm gonna drink a lot of water and go to bed. We'll give you the rest of the tour, base camp tomorrow. All right, so it's going 5.14 a.m. and we've got Max, Stefan and Jeremy here behind us who have wisely and foolishly joined us. This is base camp where we set up. It's only 20 degrees right now. We're gonna head out for lap one, which is up into the western block of the forest. Probably about 44 k's, about over a thousand meters of climbing, 20-ish trails. We'll see how we get on. These are the fun ones. Anyway, probably take us about four or five hours. So we'll see you for coffee number two at 10 ish. <laughs> Max is set off at London pace, London 2012 in the pack. Yeah. We go just, just over the hour mark and five trails down, 20 past six. That's what you get, you get up early kids. Yeah, top of the first climb, we're getting absolutely boosted by you guys, it's great. <laughs> Six hundred meters climbed, hour and a half, still manageable. Covering. <laughs> so it's quarter past seven, <laughs> and we're already talking about which lake we're going to stop in first. Oh, wow! You, that's so good. Stefan, don't worry, we're only two hours in. <laughs> oh, buddy. 
exactly. Here we go. Here's the moist, the moist check. <laughs> So we're just ripping down Furtherburger right off the top of the network, which is Jeremy's favorite trail. It must be trail number four. 12 ish? Ah, oh, blasted. Unreal. It's a great idea. Day. The boys are hauling. Eight o'clock in the morning, three hours in. We've just caught the thousand vert. Woo! Trust me, it's rough. Do play black. Oh, nice! <laughs> Lucy, Gracie! Hell yeah! Fancy seeing you guys here. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, lads. Yeah, yeah. What are we? Uh, 26k, 1,125 meters, 3 hours, 35 minutes. Yeah, about 8.30 in the morning. It's almost time for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd probably say we're what? Coming towards 20 trails? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way we're, we've lost count. Um, I think it's going to be a mystery for everybody. A deep tease until <laughs> tomorrow morning when I go back through the GPS file and see how it's going. <laughs> yeah, I think we've, we've definitely started with the hard, fast, fun stuff. It's awesome. And then hands and legs and brain can clock off pretty soon. <laughs> If not already. about 10 degrees hotter <laughs> just coming on 30 degrees and it's uh, just about to go 9 a.m. this is quickly turning into a um, streams of Cumberland yeah. tour and I'm very okay with that it's just gonna come down to plotting and surviving <laughs> Bucket of blood. This is the original downhill trail here. Built like in 2002. Sick. Nice fucking jump. Yep. Yeah. Ah! Oh, cannot be a space! Feeling top ten. <laughs> well, I think we've been riding for four and a half hours so far, and I've drank four and a half liters of water. <laughs> it's so hot, and but no, we're going good. I think we're at about 25-ish trails. We're gonna go one more little lap, little big lap, before we go back to base camp and refuel. I'm looking forward to another coffee. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there's a real chance of just accidentally getting on the beers this afternoon. This is where we stop 
what, five hours ago. Sun was beautifully coming up. Now it's 33.8 degrees, the Garmin reckons. It's only 10.30. <laughs> we've, we've teleported to the desert. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We've just ended up in the bush here. Jeremy, you are good? Yep. Oh. Good one or not No, bad. not bad. Thanks for stopping right. time. What are we on? It's the last descent of lap one. 40 k's in, nearly six hours and it's uh, crashes, heat, I'm just going to try to get down this, yeah I get to lead the train for the last ascent with the crew, this is sweet, woo! Home stretch of lap one, you little ripper. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we, we added swim spots and two extra trails. So I think the count's at 30. K's is like 45. Climbing's around 1800. And hotness is about 10 million. Shortcuts, yes, that's a trail. Down a bit of walkie toothpicks. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm counting that. Yeah, that's a trail. <laughs> Even though it's just a section. It's too hot to talk, but now there's two. So Jeremy and I are gonna head out for lap two. Lap one was a real treat. The hardest, kind of steepest, highest trails in the forest. Now, where are we, kind of, where are we going now? Uh, a bit more blue square. Uh, thankfully. Also some stuff in the shade down Thirsty Beaver which has been recently reworked. Lots of decisions, probably not enough brain cells to make the decisions. So yeah we've refilled, refilled with base camp. I've got what feels like two lunches and about 14 litres of water on board. It's only 35 degrees, 45 k's down and I'd say we're somewhere around like the 30 trail mark right now. Yeah, that's a fair yeah. estimate, yeah. Let's go get some more. We'll see you in uh, a couple hours. <laughs> I wish people could see heat through the camera. This is by far one of the most brutal climbs. 3.7 degrees according to the... It's a bit better with some breeze. Woo! Full time up the climbing trail here. Yep. This is blue collar, I think. Boom! Checking boxes, kicking goals. Seems tropical with the breeze. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, couldn't be happier. That uh, last 15 minutes pretty much sums up lap two, which is <laughs> one track for a stream crossing and then lying in the stream for about 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> I'd say this is trail, oh, I've got no idea anymore, but let's say 50, how good. Oh, that looks like a good swimming hole, Jeremy. <laughs> Coming up 12 hours. <laughs> so <Sweet. laughs> It's amazing what you can do when you get up so early. Trail count, 50-ish, <laughs> who knows. Spaghetti factory. There we go. Climb it. And we're just ticking off trails here. This is a real, real box check scenario. Bears and tuckers. Bears and tuckers. Just finished southeast block. 
73 k's done. Trail! This is unreal. Weird. There's a bone storm. A real treat. The final grunt of lap two at five o'clock. Ah, final trail with you, Jeremy. It's emotional. Oh. Mm. Perfect time to run out of water just as we're back at base camp. Oh, by home sweet home. Thanks mate. My pleasure man, that was awesome. It's been so good having you, you've been like my guiding light angel through these absolute maze of trails that you have. <laughs> okay, enjoy cheers, the rest man. man. Uh -huh. Cheers, I'll try. <laughs> see you guys. All right, it's just gone 6.30 p.m. and we're gonna head out for lap three all by myself. Jeremy has wisely gone home for a beer and a bath, as I understand. Lap two blew out a bit, so I've got a short in lap three and four. Uh, I think it's gonna take me about an hour. Gonna click off a bunch of trails, though. They're quite close to the entrance here. Uh, I have to say, the legs are feeling it. The bike is going good. Hell of a third ride shakedown for it. Really enjoying the 170 mil of squish front and rear. So let's go pedal this couch for lap three. See you in about an hour. Hopefully about 10 trails there. Okay, pretty much off the bat, we're into the first trail right out of the car park for lap three, I think. I know it's gonna be a big, big tease for everybody. <laughs> Cause I don't actually know the exact number of trails as we go. We've had a few change of plans due to weather and stream findings. <laughs> Speaking of how hot, it's just a lovely little 31 degrees. This is way better. Heck yeah. This is Iron Curtain. This was Jeremy's recommendation for this side. Oh, this is a great way to finish this leg three, if you will. Ah, just a long iron curtain and we'll quickly head back to base camp. Oh. All right, champions. Just finished the abridged lap three. Still feeling okay, gonna grab a quick snack. A little salt and vinegar chippies. And then we'll get into the final lap four. There's a few trails right by the gate here that I can punch out while we have about an hour and a half of light left. 14 hours down. What's a couple more? <laughs> um, what are we? Just under 90k is done. What are we? 14 plus hours in. There's not much brain activity going on. <laughs> Racing to beat the light on this last lap. I still got a few to go. <laughs> and this is what feels like the hardest of bike all day. Oh, it's beautiful! <laughs> Look at the light! That's a sick! Yes! What a good... It's a trail. What a day! I don't know what to say. It's literally just gone 15 hours time wise, which means we're at 10 to 9. I'm pretty much at the top of what's going to be the last descent. We're not going to make our trails, but man, we've had a good day. <laughs> much more manageable. 27 degrees. Much more delicious.
trying to get back up to sneak another couple tracks. <laughs> Thanks though, mate. Oh, that's great. <laughs> what a good descent. <laughs> this is the last trail of the day. Tied knot, a nice little black diamond to take us back to the gates. Where are we at stats wise? 97.5 k's, damn we're not going to quite make the 100 <laughs> 90 something k's of this would be sweet this nice paved road <laughs> uh, Well that's officially it <laughs> 98 k's, nearly 16 hours of riding and I've got no idea how many trails we've done I think around 60 but Tomorrow we'll do the homework, we'll upload the GPS route and go through it, make sure, see how many we did. For now, I'm looking forward to that cold fridge inside base camp in the AC and probably another couple of cold showers. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>it's the morning and I can kind of see and talk again and I've had a chance to plug the Garmin in and upload the route from yesterday so the goal was a hundred trails so excluding the multiple stream stops <laughs> some dangerously hot fire roads we've left them off and we've also excluded any time we've ridden a trail more than once we hit 83 unique single track trails so I'm super stoked with that given how hot it was we literally couldn't and shouldn't have gone any faster <laughs> yesterday <laughs> ride stats it ended up being 98 k's 3100 meters of climbing and i think yeah 15 hours and 45 minutes of riding so i'm going to spend a few hours here in the ac just lying down so i have to thank outdoorsy for supporting this challenge and providing what literally is the coldest and best literal base camp we're going to check a coupon code in the description so if you want to have a crack at a challenge or perhaps a more leisurely vacation have a look at that and also thanks to you, Rock, and especially Jeremy, Max, and Stefan who joined me yesterday for the trail guidance, but also for the work they've done over the last 20 years in this trail network, making this ride and the network behind us possible. So it's time for us to pack up and tow this trailer back to the mainland. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I've got one more silly challenge left this summer. Cheers.